Hey guys, Annika here from Annika's DIY Life and today I am partnering one more time with my friends at burns o -Matic to make something using aluminum tubes and aluminum brazing. Now a few weeks ago I built a bench using aluminum brazing and I was really happy with how it turned out. So I decided to use aluminum tubes to build a coat rack. This is actually a really simple, easy project if you wanna try your hand at aluminum brazing. It just takes a little bit of patience and I will walk you through all the steps and all the tips and tricks you need to know to make your project a success. Let's get started. So for this project, I'm using the burn Zomatic Hose Torch Kit the Mapro gas, the aluminum brazing rods. Plus I'm using an inch square aluminum tubes and an inch and a half wide flat aluminum bars. I have a full cut list and links to all the products I used in the description below. Before starting, I cleaned up all my tubes using a rag dipped in acetone to remove any gunk and residue. Then I used a file on all the edges that were going to be joined with brazing. This makes a small channel for the brazing material to sit in. After that, I used a wire brush to clean up the aluminum tubes. Once all the joints were filed and clean, I arranged them in the configuration I wanted. I used a scrap 2x4 and a speed square to make sure all my spacings were uniform and square. Once I was happy with the arrangement, I went ahead and clamped the joints. It is important to use metal clamps as the end of the clamp will be directly in the path of the flame. Then I moved one of the joints off of my workbench and started brazing. Now brazing takes patience and if done right, it can create pretty strong joints. The key is to get the aluminum hot enough that the brazing rod melts on contact with the metal. Make sure you don't melt the brazing rod from the heat of the torch. So hold the flame on the joint for 30 to 45 seconds and move the flame off really quick and check if the brazing rod actually melts when you touch it to the aluminum. If it doesn't, you need to keep applying the heat with the flame. As soon as the brazing rod melts, apply heat to the joint and move on to the next sides of the same joint. Since the joint is already hot, the other sides are a little bit faster. Once one joint is done, I moved on and finished up all the other joints. Keep in mind that aluminum has a high conductivity, so other areas of the project and the clamps get pretty hot. So give it enough time to cool between handling. Now at this point, the frame for the coat rack is ready. Now you could totally just add hooks to it and hang it up on the wall. However, I was going for a little bit of a different look. So I am going to be using these flat bars to place on top and attach. Now I originally wanted this look, but this bar by itself isn't strong enough. So I needed a support on the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it over and brace these together. I started by laying it out on my garage floor and brazing, but realized that that was not a good idea. So I used four x four scrap boards and metal clamps to set the joints and brace them. I braced a long line in the middle and then I braced the joints on both ends. Then I turned it over and braced the outer joints as well. I measured and marked the location for the five hooks on the rack and attached them. To attach, I had to pre-drill the hole before adding the screw. I gave it a couple coats of spray paint and hung it up on the wall using 3 inch screws screwed into the anchors or the studs. That is it. Now we have a simple metal coat rack in our entryway. Don't forget to check out how I built the upholstered bench using aluminum brazing and how I also made this ombre house number sign using wood burning. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. 